In this video, I want to talk about when you can use somebody else's advanced turn signal to your advantage to make a right turn at a red light. So we're coming up here at, to the intersection. We can see our light is turning to yellow or is already yellow. It's about to turn red. And we're coming up here. And in about a moment's time, you'll see the vehicles, the cross traffic vehicle is going to get a left turn advance. And this is um, going to provide us with an opportunity to make our right turn on a red light uh, when it's more or less uh, safe to do so in terms of cross traffic coming through. Now, there's still a few things we need to do to ensure that it's safe. One uh, thing we need to do first is to come up to the stop line and make a complete stop. I would say of all the students that don't pass the road test, one third of them um, fail because of the fact that they will see a red light uh, or stop sign and they'll just roll through and make a turn and that's an immediate fail. So as we're coming up to this intersection, uh, we're going to come and make a complete stop we shoulder check right to make sure that there are um, no one coming up beside us, like in terms of a, bike, a cyclist or um, possibly someone that's going to be crossing. Now, right now, both of these uh, crosswalks should have a hand signal, meaning a don't be crossing. But, you know, there's still pedestrians out there that might suddenly jaywalk. So we do need to shoulder check to the right before we make this turn. Now, um, as these cars are turning left here, they are, in, in I guess in a, in a sense, protecting us from cross traffic because those guys on the left are going to have red light uh, that allows this turn signal to be on. Now, we turn into the first available lane and we proceed. But let's back up a second and talk about, well, how should I know whether I can make the turn uh, when these guys are making their turn? And how should I know what uh, they're about to get in terms of a signal? So as we're coming up here, you will have a couple of clues. So as I'm coming up here, you can see there is the crosswalk signal, but right beside it you have a three circle light uh, that will beside it say left turn signal. Now this light here re is reiterating this light over here, which has a sign beside it that says left turn signal. So we know that sign or that light relates to or is for the people that are waiting here to make a left turn. Now, I only recommend taking the opportunity to make a right turn when uh, you can see their light clearly, right? So you don't want to guess what light they're getting, but it's only when they're getting a green light. So if you're coming up here and you look over, uh, you've done your shoulder check to the right, and you look over to the left, and in this um, three circle light here that below it says left turn signal, or the redundant one here that says left turn signal besides. If I see a yellow arrow, I know right after I'm gonna get a red signal or they're gonna get a red signal. And then these guys over here are gonna start getting their through light. So I don't wanna be making a new turn on a yellow arrow that is meant for these people. I will only use the opportunity to make this right turn if I know that their left turn signal is fresh. So as I'm coming up here, one of the things uh, that's kind of telling me, hey, this light uh, that they're getting is pretty fresh is as I was approaching this intersection, I just saw my light go from yellow to red. So I know my red light is fresh, which means if they have a left turn signal, it should be the case that their turn signal is going to be pretty fresh as well. But I'm not leaving it up just to guessing. I'm going to actually glance over and see that I'm seeing a green arrow for them. And this is when I shoulder check to the right. If it's clear, 
I go ahead and make my turn. So it's a bit, I guess when you first think about it, counterintuitive because we're making a right turn when the guys across from us are getting their uh, turn signal. Now there is the flip side of this equation, which is when you're coming up and it's a red light and you see the guys across from you getting a left turn signal. And that's when you don't want to be making a turn. So I'll discuss that in another video. So what I want you to do is uh, if you're sitting at home, um, watch the replays at the end of this video and kind of try to read the situation uh, for yourself. It's like, hey, this light just went to red. So I shoulder check right and I see these guys are just about to make that turn and I can see their green arrow. I'll go ahead and make my turn safely. So I hope this video taught you something or clarified uh, some of the confusion that takes place in the vehicle when you're trying to learn this stuff. We'll come up to intersection with students um, very frequently and if it's a big intersection like this, they know they can make a right turn on a red light but they're not sure like what's going on. And so this is one of those clues that will help you out a lot once you get a hang of it.